But we're gonna start the second one. I need to maybe adjust some stuff though. Or maybe not. I used the full screen, screen source. So the Chuck's Revenge. Let's. Ah, oh, there. Let's add that to the start menu. And start it up. And it should work fine. Okay, we can go back into performance mode then. If it lets us. Performance mode. Okay. Need to do some sound adjusting maybe. So. This seems a bit loud right now. Uh, object highlighting? What does it mean though? Uh, subtitles on, please. So I think... This sounds okay. Let's do it like that. And then we have to see. Full screen on, the resolution is okay. Perfect. So... Okay. Let's start. Play new game. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Does this sound good? Because it's a bit loud on the TV size, but if the mic doesn't pick it up, it's fine. Not that we have a double effect or something. Okay. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. <laughs> uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle. Uh, my name's Ron Gilbert, and I did. Guy Rush, okay. have okay. mercy! No, no. I can't take it anymore! I think over. I know how he must have felt. But audio commentary, commentary is interesting. As I have never played this game, I leave it off because I want to enjoy the game, but... Hmm. Tell me, if you're watching this on YouTube in the comments and right now in the chat, if you would be interested in me going through it again with the audio commentary. I'm not sure if that is interesting enough. Right? Yeah. But for, our, for the first playthrough, we definitely do it uh, normally. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? <laughs> no, bigger than that. A beard? No, <laughs> the treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. The treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scaff Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. I mean, a beard is bigger than a mustache. 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 How do you Those actually guys wouldn't know a good that? story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship hey. and get off this stinking island. He is growing a beard. At least he seems very unshaven. Part one. The Lago Embargo. I like those title cards. They look awesome. And the loading screen is nice. So do we have this here as well? Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Controls. Is there a way to get into... I think it's this one. So F1. Ah, there is classic mode. This is actually 
quite great sprite art. Like, this was on early computers, like Windows 3.11 or something, maybe even? I'm not sure how old it actually is, but... Right? But I prefer it this way. Okay. Oh, we're going into wood. Uh, no wood. We do have the shortcut still, that's good. So. Welcome to Wood Tip. No treadser hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Huh. So, okay, this is good. We can actually, if we hold right click, I better shoot not something. any more damage. That, that makes things way easier. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Of course. Now, question. Are these parts here from the trousers? From the shoes? I would say shoes as well, because that's normally how boots work. But, you know. But he really nooks. nooks. He looks really nice, right? That coat fits him very well. I don't think blue is his color, really, but still. Okay. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. <laughs> then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. I am loaded? Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Okay, I had money in my inventory, but I didn't look at Tough how town. much. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Would be interesting, but, well, now we only have a shovel. Well. We can get past the bridge, at least. So, let's check everything out. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but <laughs> I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo oh. Legrand. Oh. Interesting. Nice apron. <laughs> Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith. Which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. <laughs> Burn. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I wonder how long those lines took them. <laughs> hmm. Can I... Get away from there. It's not for sale. What do you think you're doing? I need all of them. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Ooh. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. It says Woody. That's me. Get away from there. It's not a toy. Okay, I think there's a lot of stuff we can actually... Nice Get sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. But we probably would need something else before that. Bloody lip. 
Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. I like the aesthetic of this place being built with destroyed ships. That's that's neat. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh -oh. Okay, we need to build that. Uh, that Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Uh, there was a squid. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. We got it's From his DNA. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. For a voodoo doll, you need something like... A hair from someone. <sighs> I don't want to touch it with my hands. Yeah, maybe we can. I can't dig that, Daddy. Okay. Maybe we get a glass. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Grog, please. The shaken. Not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Okay. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, mm -hmm. does some freelance pirating. Her mm -hmm. only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. And we need money. Want to see my scarf? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Uh, no. Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with them, I'll let you know. Okay. So we need the grogs to get a glass. But for that, we need an idea. Nice place you have here. Idea. Well, idea. See ya. What idea? I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. Which part? <laughs> 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 Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. It's a metronome. It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Hey! Hired help only! Okay. I guess we need to get inside there as well. And that metronome will do something too. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Wait a minute. That's Monkey Island, isn't it? A bit tilted, though. But I think it is. Huh. 
And this could be Malay, Malay Island. So this is probably Scab Island then. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. Stop. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yes? <laughs> Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority oh, yeah. on this island is that bully Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Okay. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Ah. Uh -huh. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well... I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Oh. No, but I really don't care. Well, well. Guess you don't need me then. Damn it, I thought I could trick him. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Oh, I mean. Could you tell me about the men who buried Big Whoop? Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only Elaine. four crew members survived. Okay. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, hmm. that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever the it Wumpies. was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Hmm. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. If it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Hmm, okay, so we need to get a map. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery in here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Wait. Are heart surgeons also called cartographer? Huh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. I got it. 
You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. Okay. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. <laughs> you know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. This was way before Google Maps. <laughs> is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, oh, no, be my guest. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um, sister once had. <laughs> it's too small. Nice map. Thanks. I can't reach it. Nice map. I like it too. Nice map. Yep. I can't reach it. It's a pile of blank paper. Uh, that's not blank. I've got enough. Okay, we got paper. That's something. And that's all we can do in here right now. We have a paper and a shovel. <gasps> paper and idea. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean. Oh. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad can extract Marty. I'm mad spirits. about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. Huh. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Hmm. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Okay, I don't think we can do anything Oops. here right now. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <laughs> okay, that's a good line if you ever have someone you don't want to talk to. And they talk to you. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Uh, uh, but... Why am I even asking? Nice. Open. It won't fit in my pocket. Nice. I bet we can catch the bucket. rat with that. Hey, leave that alone. Okay. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay. What do we have in our inventory? Nothing we could do anything with the box with. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. No, we don't clean leather. You can actually read the signs. Man of low moral fiber. Aren't those the three from Middle Island? With the rat. With the rat. You. You. Now what is it? Hmm. Long time no see. Do we know you? Hmm. <laughs> I'm Guybrush. 
You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're Bless talking you. about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Hmm. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. I just hit my toe on my computer. What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. The governor of the island made us an offer we uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Wait, Drinky and Inky Island. Oh. Is there a Dr. Inky? I don't know if that was stupid or right on point <laughs> with a game like this. Big whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water fast. Hmm. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. I have a feeling I know the salesman. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Hmm. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Munster Monster. Munster is a city in Germany. It's a kind of cheese? Okay, I thought there was some lore from that city or something. Like... Actually, uh, the town we live in has a lot of Wolpertinger stuff. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a, <laughs> a rat that is mixed with a rabbit and has horns and wings as well. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. Well, if you had some kind of blue ice cream, popsicle-like, this could be a scene from Kingdom Hearts. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. Hmm. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. <laughs> Sounds more like workophobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We I can think... scarcely contain our anticipation. 
I think they are afraid of that mouse, Red. Yes, but you know. Wait, wait. We have that money for the polish. Of course, we could just keep the money. How much is it? One piece of eight. <coughs> yeah. Could I buy some wood polish? Not you know. It's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Let's polish this. Something inside me doesn't want to finish that sentence. Even though it's a pretty normal sentence in this context. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh, cool. Can I take it? That wouldn't be wise. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. So we have wood polish and a piece of eight. I think that's the preferable way to be. What are you doing there? You know, if someone would see what you do there, they would think you're crazy. Oh. A little alligator! Cute. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, don't push. I could lose a finger doing that. It's tied to the post. And it's securely fastened. And it's securely fastened. Oh, well, let's talk to the innkeeper then. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. So oh, wait. Sorry, we oh. only... Backspace, backspace. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. You're supposed to leave these things open. Nice. Be with you in a second. I don't think I'd get away with that. What is this? Huh? Oh, is this a, sh a chair? Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay. Hmm. Does not seem like I could do anything here. The only thing I could think of with the wood polish on the alligator? I think all he wants right now is sleep. Yeah. I could lose a finger doing that. That's not getting us anywhere. Hmm. We could try to get uh, we could get the spit in the bucket. I'm pretty sure we will need a glass, and that's why we need the grok, but maybe not. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. You don't put it in the bucket because the bucket wouldn't be full then? You can do... You don't need to fill the bucket up completely. Oh... doesn't seem to work. Well. Okay. Maybe, just maybe. We can leave this place as well. Yes, we can go to the path. Okay. There's more to explore. We have a stick now. 
we'll do something someday, probably, maybe, maybe not. Let's talk He's to them. Back. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. Oh. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh, no. Not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land. But it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. <laughs> Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, okay. you'll meet a man mm. named Captain Dredd. Oh, not that. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sail no, embargo. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly. The weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got no mayor or police force and no tail in which to ride that was beautiful <laughs> 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 any marshmallows left marshmallows we don't have any marshmallows what's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick it's the stuffing for under my eye pads. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Okay, okay. I thought they were gonna eat that. <laughs> oh. uh. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, <gasps> and a tragic oh, no. day at sea. You're not gonna sing. Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. Oh, okay. oh 100 bottles of beer on the wall. 100 bottles of beer. You take one down, hmm. pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 99 bottles of beer on the Damn wall. It. 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. This might take a while, but eight bottles of beer on the wall. Don't you wanna know? Oh, 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer. What? You take one down, pass it around. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 97 bottles of beer on the wall. 97 bottles of beer. Maybe Google if something happens before we sit here for like bottles of beer on the wall. an hour. Oh, uh, that won't take an hour, but. 96 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Da 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 do da 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 yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. Forty-two. You take one down, pass it around. 
508. Oh, 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Four. Four bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Four, Can three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one I never down, got this. Pass it around. Why the song two really makes this song? Of beer on the wall. What is the point? That's so why are there two bottles of beer, beer on the wall? Down, pass it around. Like, are they on a shelf? Five hundred and eight bottles you... of beer on the wall. Oh, five hundred and eight bottles of beer on the wall. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I was done. Well, I'm see you salty dogs done. later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Sleem and weenies. The sign says. Steam and weenies, 20 feet. Oh, steam and weenies, uh, not sleem and, that looked like an L. Steam and does make more sense. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Looks closed, looks closed. Okay. Anything over here? No, 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 that's it. What's that sign saying? Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. Huh. Well, let's get back to the map. Wait, wait, wait. Now that I think about it, we have a stick and there's a fire and he mentioned marshmallows. I think it has something to do with something. I don't think that's a coincidence. The swamp, huh? International House of Mojo. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Seaworthy? Ah. Oh, there's a bat. I know this from Chrono Trigger. This alarms enemies and get us, gets us into a fight. I have a feeling that won't happen here. But I do have a feeling who we are going to meet here. Mmm, I was eaten. It appears to be bolted to the table. Display model. It appears to be bolted to the table. Well, I'll just take a little. Okay, I have a bit of a problem. My right clicking seems to be a bit wonky. Ash to light. The uncremating cream. Hey, that's just a display model. <gasps> Remember that voice? Guy brush three food. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. Hmm. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Okay. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with the chuck. I you did? told you where to find the voodoo anti-root. And how to turn it into the powerful no. ghost dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Did she? Maybe she's a cannibal. I mean, they didn't have shirts on, I think we would have noticed. <laughs> Magic. Ah, true. Did she? Maybe she did tell us. That was quite in the beginning. Tell me oh. about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. 
end of LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, Guybrush might not be brave enough, but dumb enough. Well, what kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clue. Okay. And a lock of hair will do for the head. For Bring me much? a sample of fluid from his body. We know where to get from that. his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Thanks. Now go. Voodoo. <laughs> okay. We know one of the things. Bats in German are called uh, basically flying mice. I'm not quite sure how to. What is Fleder actually? I think it comes from flying. It's Fleder mouse. And, and Fleder isn't really a word, kinda, but I think it's rooted in f the word for flying. A flying dog. It's a flying dog. There's a tomb there. Do we meet Tomb Raider? Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. That is way too topical for today. That 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 joke hits very different in 2022. It looks like it's been sealed shut. But then again, why would I want to go in there? Did you just listen? The rickets. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Stan's Cozy Crypt, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. What's the difference between a crypt and a tomb? Hmm. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The Quagmires, no trespassing. The Quagmires, no trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. So we have Stan again. The grave of the unknown pirate. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> That was good. Let's use the, well, shovel and exhumate. This is creepy feeling. We need something. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. We got the bone. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. <sighs> there once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. I want to know the audio commentary here. I forgot about the graveyard. This is like the greatest scene ever. Why are the bats making different sounds here? Okay, so why? This is, is another thing we fought over. I thought the pants thing. I didn't think that was funny. I think the pants. And you thought it was the hilarious. best thing in the whole game. I did. 
I did, and I still do. I still do. I actually use this as an example sometimes when I what when I'm you talking. You used to, to think people. was funny, and I realized it's not funny. No, it's like the pinnacle of humor. Jesus. It's an untoppable moment. <laughs> but what did he pull his belt off to, in order to dig? What? Why? Why does? Why, 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 did? <laughs> why does that happen, Ron? <laughs> now tell us. <laughs> I have because, because, because the game requires different levels. If you got your sophisticated, but why do his humor, pants fall down? Did he take his? Did he use plastic. his belt to dig? See that. See, see the sense. problem is you're trying to justify it too much. <sighs> it's just funny. Just roll with it. It's fantasy about pants falling. It's just a stupid computer game, Tim. Oh, see that's a see. I think that could have been a really deep moment. His pants fell for a reason. Mm -hmm. For example, gravity. He was digging up. You win. It's hilarious. <laughs> but I never liked anything that was great. In, like, I, I was against the insult sword fighting. Remember? I was like, people are going to be really mad. Mm -hmm. well, well, the insult sword fighting is meeting, where You were like, how about, I think it's too action-oriented if we actually put sword fighting in there. Because it was going to be like, karataka, mm -hmm. karatika, karataka. And um, it's like, it's too action-oriented. I think people would enjoy it more if it was just insults. Which I realize now is a great idea. And at the time, I thought, we're going to get angry letters from people who want to use their sword. That, you know, But uh, I saw the... I saw the light eventually. But that came from those all that time we spent watching those movies mm -hmm. in the in the media room at the main house was the way the pirates you know verbally jousted with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember you saying it was that it was just what they said that was important, and that the sword fighting always seemed like kind of a background activity. Okay, that was kind of interesting. We can actually dig up her grave as well. This ground looks too hard and dried up to dig. Okay. No man commanded Jean Louise, not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <coughs> Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> These grapes are genius. I love those. So we got the bone already. No, well, that was easy. The grouts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. I mean, good? Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any <gasps> ship. Let's hope Wait. the Earth can hold them. Were the Gordo brothers? No, they were like... They were named differently. Those two circus dudes. Hmm, no secret place apparently. Okay. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. Twenty pieces of eight. Inquire within. Oh well let's see. Maybe we can hang him down to one piece of eight. That path is unnecessarily long. Hmm. Only Captain Dredd Are Dredd you here. Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. Okay. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. Navigator. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. The I Navigator. Man, but my Navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Ew. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. 
I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Well, we did meet his friend, very likely. This is probably not a common thing to happen. Is there anything over here? No. So... What can we do? How does this island actually look? In original. Okay. Let's go back to Wootek. Maybe we can do something here. What kind of items do we have? There's a stick. Wait, we. What is this string? I think it's yo yo string. What? When did we get that string? Oh, at the voodoo thing. But that's not from the clothes of uh, Lago. Let's have a look at Great the recipes thing. from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. International House of Mojo. Is that a... IHOP's reference? Probably. Uh, yeah. Let me have a look in. The stick. Well, let's show him the stick. No, thanks. Okay. <clears throat> let's talk to him again. Yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, nothing. Oh. Can we combine? String I and stick. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Oh. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. Oh. I don't want to polish that. Okay. How could we use this? Nice. It's closed. Hmm. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Can we exchange that? doesn't that? seem to work. No. That wouldn't be wise. That doesn't seem to work. Gross. Okay. No ticket, no laundry. Maybe we can just show them the piece of paper. I mean... What would I do with that? We can't. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Maybe the cartographer would help us with writing something. He seems very friendly towards us, right? Hello. Hello. Can you... No thanks. I have all the paper I need. No thanks. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. What are you doing? Uh, 
the line. No thanks. I heard it on your TV and in my ear at the same time. Okay. Huh. Does the help work? Make good use out of that paper. Yeah, I know that. It's either for an ID or for that laundry ticket. It's blank. Maybe you should try to look for something to write. Yes, that makes sense. He should have something, right? Can you steal the notebook? Oh. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Okay. Where is that thing? Okay. I swear I, I mean... put it right here. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. I hope I didn't lose it. That doesn't seem to work. I'll never be able to afford a new one. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. How am I supposed to work? Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. Hmm. Dang. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. It's too small. Anything that he's. I'm such a dope. I mean, Can't I do anything right? I, he said I shouldn't look at his files, oh, shoot. but. I bet my mom would help me find it. I can't reach it. What? For crying out loud. That's where I got the paper. I've got enough. I hope so. it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move. Where I can't believe somebody files? would steal it. Can I just give it back, maybe? I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. Oh, there it is. Thanks. That's not helping. Gang, I've lost my monocle again. I don't want to polish that. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. I'm stuck here forever. Hmm. I'm going to starve to death in here. I'm going to die hungry, blind, and alone. It's too small. I bet that's where I, how I get his files, but... Why me? I never hurt huh. anyone. Rats. Rats. This stinks. I don't know if that is a very subtle hint or... I need a glass for this bit. I need a glass for this bit, okay? You have what Okay. What would I do with that? Well then, let's get this bit. Stupid lighting. <laughs> Arr, makes me aggressive. We also would need another thumbnail. So, is it the Monaco? No. Not with the door. That doesn't seem to work. Is it the stick? That doesn't seem to work. Uh, oh, yuck. Okay. That's definitely not what I thought this would be. Through a window. Okay, there's a window. Side of the 
Oh! Oh! Damn, I would have never seen that. Okay, this opens up a lot of stuff. Vichy Swaths, yes. It's too heavy. I hate Vichy Swaths. Excuse me. Let's Don't talk bug to the me. I'm cooking. The fire's out. I'm no cook. I'm no cook. I bet it weighs half a ton. Hmm. Canned goods, huh? I hate fruit cocktail. I hate fruit cocktail. Yeah, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. Well, we got a knife out of it. Oh, thanks. Do anything with the Vichyssoir? I doubt it. But we have a knife. We do have a knife now. Knife is knife. What to do with the knife, though? I have an idea. It's not a nice one, but an idea. Don't peg biter get loose. I'd better peg go biter. catch him before he catches somebody else. Peg biter. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Cheese squigglies. One of my favorites. Mm. You're supposed to leave these things open. And now we're in the door. Ah. Let's take the toupee. We'll take that I don't well. like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Who let you into my room? I uh, thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. Well, we got the toupee, which. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Is his hair? We have his hair, his body fluid, and something from his clothes. So we need to get his uh, cleaner ticket. Thingy. All right. So we can get his clothes. Question is. Can we get back in and find it there? Just Leave me alone! Okay, I think... Maybe not. Hmm. I do have a slight idea though. Oh, I can open up the item menu with the middle mouse button. So... Anything going to happen with the cheese squigglies in there?
Nice. Can I? There's strange little white bugs all over it. I don't think I should do that. Hmm. Where's that little crocodile going to? Hmm. Hmm. I don't need any more. Okay, they are right, rightly placed there. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We need to build a trap. And now the string with the stick. And now we caught the mouse. Hey. I don't know what to do with that now, though, but... Hey, guys. Yoo-hoo. Hey, guys. Oh. That wouldn't be wise. That doesn't seem to work. Nice. It won't fit in my pocket. It won't fit in my pocket. It's closed. What if we open it up? We can take the rat with us. What to do with the rat, though? In the kitchen. Oh, the rat into the kitchen so the cook gets fired. But why would we need that job? Now it doesn't make sense, right? As we could get in. Hmm. So, that doesn't seem to work. Good thing this is a cold soup. No, there's a rat in the soup. Vichyssoise avec rat. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Well, let's get outside and in the normal way. You can fill the bucket with mud. With mud? Yes. I have an idea where. And I have to do that before I do something in the kitchen. I mean, I have two ideas for it. One would be the swamp, the other the graveyard. Not with coffin, coffin. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. All mine. You know what? I think this for the first episode is a pretty good screen. Oh no, we go until this chapter is over. And then. So what can we do with the mud here? But I can't get inside.
Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Oh, uh, he does so. I don't want to Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. I don't think when I would have ever guessed this thing this. off my head. Somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Okay, so open it's the... a bit on the tattered side. Largo could be back any minute. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. You can go out now and check on him where it would, would be logical to go. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I get it. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! <laughs> I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. Hmm. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. You need to get his ticket. Okay. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. I think after we've done all that voodoo building, we will call it a day as well. Yeah, this is the end of the part. Yeah. So, I think it's in his room. Could you please enter? Close the door. Nice. Oh, I get I get it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Isn't that something people do? Put stuff like that on their door? I mean, if you close it behind you, you will see it when you leave your room. What makes sense? Like having a little hanger where you put in like stuff you need to bring to the post office? It's a wonder that this works. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Wait. The church. Ah, here it comes. <laughs> nice April fresh scent. Is. I mean, that's not his hair as well. Something has to go wrong, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be Monkey Island if everything worked out. We have, we have. So, back into the coffin. And it wouldn't be the last time, even. Mm -hmm. 
sail away into the shack. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. About that voodoo doll, have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I mean, apparently he doesn't have hair, so how could you get a hair? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I do. Maybe. I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> This ought yes. to be good. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Does it? Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Uh, okay. Well then. He's probably in his room, I would say. <sighs> Back to wood tech. This game does feel more strain streamlined, streamlined than the first one. I mean, it wasn't bad, but some like picking the right options and stuff was a bit clunky I would, uh, it felt oldish it felt oldish it felt <laughs> oh, i want to really meet the alligator again hey what are you doing in here get out of my room and stay out Take that, uh. you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is uh. that? Yes. LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. You... Boy, it is alive. Uh. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. 
Look out, world! Mm. The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! It's 11 p.m. over here. What have I just witnessed at this hour? Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you doing this? That was funny. <laughs> Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten, partially decomposed, yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to <laughs> deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you just kill me now and get it over with? You must try not to lose hope, Guybrush. There is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Wolf. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big <laughs> yes. Wolf isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Is this part over or is there a bit left? Take the coffin back to the island. And walk to the captain's door. You need to go to the captain's door. Yeah. I mean, we get the first thing from the next chapter because there's probably a sequence there, but... I mean, you have to do some dumb things, so if you want to, you can just save this, but the last thing. Yeah, then let's do that. I think that's better for how this works. And then we can start fresh. Well then. Gonna safe, and then we search for someone to raid. Saving content, perfect. Twenty percent already. We are quick. I'm not locked in into your. Okay. Very much. Yes. Bye bye, game. Yeah, the game minimizes. Sorry about that. So, who is on the line? Who? No. no! No! I think we visited earlier. And I don't think that's... Well. Oh, Kamosobo, he visited as well. So... Tell me what I want. What I really, really want? Let's do... We did Kim Sober last week, I think. No. Let's do no in that case. I open my map. So, and you all check out the links in the chat or the description if you're watching this on YouTube to my Twitter, Instagram, where I post stuff, and to my YouTube or, well, Twitch, depending on where you watch it. Do you watch? And. Yeah, with that. We're gonna raid someone, and we'll, I'll see you tomorrow again with Chrono Cross, I hope. Or next week, where we'll continue Monkey Island. Until next time, bye me. Whatever did was wreck me yeah you, you wreck me
I put you eye up in the sky and now you're not coming down.